Not the rain leading to flooding in some areas across South Florida. Local 10, Ian Margul is live in Miami to show us how it looks right now. Ian. So the good news, a lot of this area has dried out. We're right in Margaret Pace Park here in Miami, and you'll actually see they have a pump going and they're moving water kind of out of the sewer systems, just getting this area ready for when more rain does fall. It has now dried out significantly, but South Florida has seen plenty of water over the last 24 hours. A food giveaway in Miami Gardens Monday getting soggy as South Florida continues to be soaked by rain throughout the weekend and even into Monday morning, many neighborhoods in our area were underwater. I just thought that maybe it would come into the yard eventually, but it's been standing there. We have problems getting uh, to our mailbox. We have to put on goulash to get there and stuff and our garbage. We couldn't even put our garbage out last night. Roads looked more like rivers and cars splashed through standing water. Some of the worst flooding we saw was in northeast Miami Dade. The Biscayne Gardens neighborhood has struggled with rising waters lately. Fernando Santiago showed us how his entire home was surrounded and he says he wants to see some fixes. The whole backyard is completely underwater. A pump, at least a pump, but to help us out in this community. Because the next block, I mean, you go to the next block, the water's got to be up to here. The water collected in Broward neighborhoods, too. In Hollywood, a drive through drenched and roads soaked with more rain expected in the forecast. So as Betty mentioned, some record rainfall here in South Florida. Earlier today, the National Weather Service tweeted out there was record rainfall at both Fort Lauderdale Hollywood International and Miami International Airport. Miami International Airport getting nearly four and a half inches of rain just yesterday. But again, here in Miami, people living in this area just happy to be drying out right now. Live in Miami, I'm Ian Margo, Local 10 News.